So with all the crazy alpha news, one of the most exciting things so far are two new races we had just discovered that literally no one saw coming. One are actual new light undead models that seem to be related to the Aradi and it is a similar undead mechanism as Kalia Manitil. Even more interestingly, a brand new race was discovered known as the Haroneer that really seemed to be a setup for a new allied race with how much customization they had gotten as well as other hints. These are night elven ancestors, the Dark Trolls, very likely related to Eluna here, hence Haronir, the first ever World 3 that seems to actually be in Kazagar, and interesting enough, they might even be vampiric as well, seeing that old god blood is flowing through their zone. So what are these two new races? Let's get into it because there is a lot of data mined info. If you guys want to buy Total War, Elder Scrolls or any other game, you can get them at great prices with my Gamevo link. You can also get anything Warcraft related, gift cards and software and all below market prices. Best of all, if you add my code DORON, you can get an even bigger discount. So make sure to check out my link in the description and get some amazing deals with Gamevo. As the alpha has started, after the really long lore drought, we actually got a ton of new information to cover. But I gotta say, one of the most interesting things we're looking at right now are the light undead that we had seen for the first time ever, aside from Kalia, as well as a brand new race we're also yet to learn more about, known as the Haroneer, that seemed to be a species of dark trolls that looks insanely interesting. I mean, like mixing a night elf, vampires, worgen, trolls, and really something completely unique. In regards to the light undead, We'll cover that in a bit as we have discovered a ton of new models, armors and such and I gotta say I really wish Kelly Manitil actually looked like this as a light undead as her model is barely even undead when you look at it. I mean yeah, when you think a light raised undead this is exactly what you would imagine them as. However completely out of nowhere the Harnir look even more interesting. Now I know what you may be thinking I mean yay yet another troll elven race with a few modifications how original but just bear with me for a second as this is isn't just a race, but this race reveals a lot of lore in regards to the creation of the world, what is going on, and what Kazlagar potentially is. So, of course, the Dark Trolls are not really new. I mean, we never really saw the primordial version of them, but we had known about them for the longest time. Super quick lore throwback, these are essentially Night Elven ancestors. At one point in time, troll tribes ruled over the entirety of Azeroth. They were going crazy fighting the Akir, they were expanding their empires, they were fighting each other. However, a tribe of them, known as the Dark Trolls, existed and they had been completely isolated from the rest of the trolls. They lived in a network of caves, they hated daylight and their nocturnal habits turned them into blue purple colors. They were druidic, they were tied to nature and the original lore stated that they lived in caverns beneath Mount Hyjal. Then they had stumbled upon and eventually discovered the role of eternity which transformed them and turned them into the night elves and then from these night elves all the elf variations came to be that we have today. However, now the fact that the Haronir exists changes quite a few things. Now, I can't be the only one that is getting vampiric vibes from these guys. They actually look very similar to the vampire guys from Revendreth, but don't get me wrong, I'm not saying there is a connection between the two. What we had learned from the Alpha is they inhabit a jungle around the roots of a tree in a subzone of the Nerubian zone Ashgahet. This is apparently where old god blood is flowing that Zelatet and her Nerubians are gathering. Could they have also fed on this blood, turning them into vampiric trolls. However, of course, we can only speculate and this is a little bit far off, but let me tell you what else is incredibly interesting. So previously, I made this theory that really seems to actually be getting closer to reality. In Dragonflight, we got a book where we learned about Elune Ahira. After the Black Empire was defeated and the Titans, you know, cleansed the planet, the Titan Eonar and Elune created a world tree to help heal Azeroth. Amantul, the lead Titan guy, got pissed that Eonar was working with Elune as she's not from the Older Realm and then he just came in, he ripped out the tree and created this massive hole and eventually unknown guardians settled around the roots. It is said that as the world entered a new age, mysterious guardians arrived who dedicated their lives to protecting the roots. So this probably has happened quite a bit later. By the way, we got more lore that I'll cover in a different video where it was once again confirmed that the titans really are bad and it's really no longer even a speculation at this point. I mean, they're definitely oppressive. Seeing that the dark trolls live here around the roots, they seem very druidic, they got root-like armor with the data mind, it is almost certain that they are the original guardians of Luna here. I mean, remember, previously it was stated that the original dark trolls were druidic and also connected to nature. Also, interesting enough, after the troll Akira 
war, the trolls sent out a bunch of tribes to far corners of Azeroth like the Amani and the Drakari in order to establish outposts and defend against the old god threat that could potentially emerge at any point in time. It is possible that this could be the case, seeing that they're living right next to the Nerubians, which are obviously old god beings. Also, these guys might have been the cut dragonfight content, as remember, previously we were told we would find troll ancestors on the dragon isles, and that never really happened. Now, we had kind of already seen this coming even back on BlizzCon, as we noticed Queen Talanji was here, which meant some type of troll lore is happening, and that is why I think they're actually going to be an allied race. Now, I know, just because it's a new race doesn't mean it's going to be playable, but let me give you a few other hints. First of all, they seem to be insanely well developed, seeing that we just discovered them with a ton of specific customization and so many armors that already fit them. I mean, people have been making transmogs with these guys all over the place. They're very similar to the Night Elves. It's like the Nightborn and the Night Elves, or even closer, so they can very easily be added as just a modification. Now, in an interview, post-alpha announcement, Blizzard actually responded that no new allied races are planned for now, but this was such a big answer. I mean, obviously, they're not going to say, yeah, these guys that you just data mined a few models of are going to be the next allied race, especially as we're only going to learn about them last as they're in the lowest most layer of Kazakar. Also, remember, in an interview, Blizzard also told us that no new specs were planned for the drag tier, and then they were added like a month later. Also, when the expansion was announced, it was strongly hinted that new races will be coming gradually. When you examine their appearance, it is actually very interesting. I mean, Dark Trolls were actually trolls, but these guys don't really look that much like trolls. They look like a mix of Vorgan and trolls. You can see that they have claws and fur all over the place. They don't really look like you would imagine trolls to look. It is possible that they had evolved separately due to the presence of these roots. So how the Dark Trolls evolved into Well of Eternity into Night Elves, these trolls evolved into the Haronir through Eluna here. Also, as I had stated, the name Haronir, Eluna here, you can definitely notice a similarity. Plus, the name for some reason has a strange vampiric sound to it, but obviously nothing has been confirmed yet. However, we also got the Light Undead, which some people would find even more intriguing. Honestly, by all accounts, this seems to be a part of a quest line or related to Rati humans, which, by the way, seem to be half-elves, which is huge, and I'll cover that in a different video as well. I say this because we also discovered a bunch of other Rati light beings, like burned candle-type villains in multiple shapes. Of course, we can't say anything for certain, but I'm guessing these light zombies might be the most fanatical of the light fanatics and that their devotion to the light ultimately led them to turn into the undead. Or maybe this could be punishment for those that defy the light rule. Who really knows? I mean, we can only speculate at this point in time. Some interesting things to mention, though. We learned that the crystal that is in their zone, Hell of Fall, is called the Belladar, which strongly hints that this is, in fact, a narrow ship. Remember, Ganedar, Xanadar, Vindicar, all narrow ship names, so... Beledar is very similar. Also, remember that the first ever and only light undead that we personally saw until now was Kaldia Manatil, and she was resurrected by a Naru directly. I'm pretty certain that the Naru didn't invent the light undeath as a concept just for Kaldia. It's just that we were never exposed to it in the past. We don't know who these guys are, whether they're good, whether they're bad, but I feel like this is going to be a setup for potentially something going on with Kaldia. If we learn why the Naru create light undead, we might realize that she's in fact a pawn or there is other meaning to it. I mean, you gotta admit, it's very strange that we discover new light undead just as Kelly takes leadership over the Forsaken. Also, recent hints show that Anduin has in fact abandoned the light, so the entire Trillian Kaldia light bad theory might not actually be so out of hand as it once was in the past. These light undead models seem a bit different, so I'm not sure if they're going to be an allied race, although it could work for like followers of Kelia, but I think the lore itself is going going to be really interesting with them regardless. I mean, it's going to have huge implications for Midnight, the Naru, and pretty much the entire World Soul Saga. The Haronir, on the other hand, do seem like the most likely next allied race. Thank you for watching, check out the new broken short that starts the war within by clicking on the screen, and check out my video on ancient colonies in Spain by clicking on the screen as well. See you next time!